Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to look at a workflow today that might help you out if you ever have models that you end up uh, rendering, something like that, some sort of visualization models that end up too heavy to work on. By too heavy, I mean you end up with so much geometry that it actually slows your computer down. So right here I have what's a, a, a fairly simple little uh, park right here. Um, you can see up here I have 10,000 some edges and 6,000 faces. Not too heavy, pretty simple, pretty light. But what I want to do is I want to go in and put a bunch of trees, some lamp posts, a bunch of reeds by the little river here. And in doing that, if I just start grabbing components and throwing them in here, um, some of you experience this, SketchUp will start to slow down. If I, if I load in more geometry than my computer can handle, uh, it starts to be an issue. So one of the things we can do to account for that is by creating proxies. Uh, proxies are components that are simple components that are going to represent what, uh, where geometry is going to go that can be, with a quick click, replaced with more complex geometry. So in this case, if I look over here in my components window, I already have a lamp post, a tree, and a set of reeds uh, that I want to load into this model. But again, if I start grabbing these and I just throw them in here, and see just putting one in, look at what that did to my uh, the count of, of geometry in this model. Bumped it way up because there's a lot of geometry in here. But say this is heading out for a rendering or a series of renderings, I actually want to keep the, that geometry in there. I don't want to just get rid of it and create a simpler one or a, a 2D face me for this particular example. So what do I do? What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to move this over here for a second. I'm going to create a proxy for the, for the shape and and this is not there's no nothing exact with what I'm about to do I'm just gonna create a rectangle drag it up all right so that is about the size and shape of that uh, component for those reeds what I'm gonna do now is I want to match my placement point for this uh, this box with my reeds so I'm gonna double click to open the component and I can see there's the axis point right in the middle of those reeds. So what I'm going to do now is go in, I'm going to triple click, I'm going to say make component, and I'm going to call this my read proxy. And I'm going to set my component axis, I'm going to flip underneath, I'm going to place it right about in the middle. I say right about because it's not an exact thing, but um, it's about there. So what did that do? That created a new component over here in my component list. If I get rid of both of these, let me just show you exactly how this works. So I'm going to come in here now. I'm going to grab my component, my proxy, and I'm going to drop one by the river. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just place a couple of them. I'm just going to place, place a few in a line. Real simple example. All right. So I have three of those boxes. You can see right now, did not make my model much bigger. My model is very snappy, moving around good. And what I can do is I can come over here to my components window, I can right click on this proxy, and I can say select instances. It's gonna highlight all the copies of that proxy in the model. What I can do now with them highlighted is right click and say replace selected. That's gonna replace my three instances of the proxy with the actual read model. So if I click that, look what happens. My reads show up and my file size increases. Pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple different proxies. I'm going to create one that's going to represent this uh, this lamp post. Again, I'm just going to put a rectangle right here, about the same size as the footprint of that uh, component. Pull it up about the same height, just so I know what it is. Make my component. Again, this one's going to be lamp proxy. And there's nothing special about that proxy name. I'm just putting it in there so I know what it is. I'm going to put that uh, snap point about in the middle. All right, that looks good. And uh, again, same thing. Square about the size of the footprint of that. Pull it up about the same height so I know what it is. Right click, make component. Call this one a, you guys probably already guessed this, tree proxy. 
you probably you've cracked it. You've cracked my naming code. Well done. Um, I'm gonna place that at the center. Create. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and place a bunch of these proxy files, a bunch of these proxy boxes around my model. And as I go in and put them in, um, I'm going to I'll throw a couple more of these in here real quick and show you this too. Um, when I put them in, I'm going to use the move command to maybe add some a uh, little bit of flavor, you know, some rotations. Um, I could actually rotate this on multiple axes. I want to keep them all vertical, but as I do that, that means when the uh, read proxy loads in, it's actually going to be rotated too. So it won't have a bunch of uniform reads just stacked up in a row. It'll actually look like they're uh, you know, random and that sort of thing. I can also overlap them too. So if I put this one here, this read's going to potentially overlap with the read back here. So time for some time lapse as I go in and throw in a bunch of boxes. So there we go, the white box park. Next thing we're gonna do is just gonna hop in here real quick and run the replacement. So I'm gonna come here with the lamppost proxy first, right click, and select all the instances, then right click on the lamp and replace. There we go, let's do the trees. Is that the right one? Tree proxy. Select instances, replace. All right, looking like a park. And now for the big ones. The reeds were definitely the heaviest of the three models in here. So I'm gonna select all the reeds. And replace. And there we go. So you can see, if you remember, my, uh, my model size has considerably increased you know it was, it was very small before and it got a lot bigger um, it's not affecting performance too much but there's a little bit of a lag as I'm animating this is a uh, a lot of geometry in here but the nice thing is if I decide well I want to go change that I want to modify something I can do the reverse also so I can come in here and say select all of my reads and replace them with the proxies. So if I do have to jump out, if I'm setting up scenes or views that I want to render, something like that, I can speed up my model by taking those heavy components out and replacing them with light proxies instead. Once I got the, uh, the view that I want, something I want to look at, I can always come in, swap them back out, and get my uh, heavier geometry in. So there you go quick and easy way to use proxies to keep your models light and snappy. Thank you.